Hello, Hogzilla here again. And in today's video, I'm going to give my tips and tricks and guide to completing Concrete Beach. This will be more of an informal talk over of one of my prior videos so that I can pause it and point out some of the uh, items I want to um, mention that I did during the video. So if you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or have an alternative strategy, leave a comment below and please consider subscribing to my channel. Let's go ahead and get started. So Concrete Beach, you're going to be balancing between being a tourist island and an industrial island. But to be honest, you're going to be balancing more towards being a tourist island. So you want to do a little bit of pre-building here by upgrading your construction. And then you want to build your spy academy because you're going to want to have them acquire knowledge. You're not going to build a library or anything. It's actually quicker to send them out on a knowledge raid. What we're going to do now is start building up our tourist part of the island over here by this ancient ruins, which is a requirement of a future quest. So start building your tourist ports, your chairlift in the ancient ruins, along with the funfair pier, which will be another requirement, and a snorkel bay, which is also going to be another requirement. Keep an eye on the spy academy so that you can quickly start setting a reoccurring knowledge. Plus, you want to do nuclear loans, casino, and snorkel bay. The nuclear will allow you to get a, a, a free and easy 100000 at the expense of some pollution and some people um, dying of radiation poisoning, but uh, we'll forget about that. Then let's go ahead and build our hotel rooms so people have somewhere to stay while on the island. A lot of this is rapid pace, I know, so um, you might want to slow this video down or, um, or or replay sections of it. But I will leave a link to the um, um, to the other uh, uh, difficulty modes um, for this in the description. So now that we um that was just the quest right there to have the pier, the snorkel bay, and the ancient ruins, which I've already completed. So now I just need to get two thousand in tourist fees and have a tourist visit. I do the golf course since that's always a, a big money bring uh, money um, Good day, boom. Um, and then I also switch the work mode on the hotels to the second option, which will increase the size of the hotel rooms to bring more people in. So now with the golf course, we're just going to set that to uh, a tourist only mode to bring in money. And now um, one of the other quests that popped up is to have at least four oil rigs. This is where it's beneficial to um, have uh, the 100,000 from the nuclear testing, which is what we'll get um, be able to get once um, the Spy Academy gets done with their knowledge raid. So we're just going to go ahead and wait a little bit here. Um, we want the two tourist ports because we're going to set one to economy and one to luxury. Uh, but I think you need to um, have that researched. I know on some missions they have it pre-researched for you. But I think it needs to be researched in this mission. So we're just um, hanging around a little bit here while this knowledge raid is complete. Once that's complete, we'll do the nuclear testing. We'll get our... Uh, two additional oil rigs built, and then, um, and there should be a few other edicts that I should be able to uh, populate. So this is just a little bit of a downtime right now um, in the mission. Um, there we go. We can do nuclear testing. We have our hundred thousand. Let's go ahead and do our uh, additional oil rigs. I just quick built that last one. They want you then to produce a thousand in oil, which is why I hired those uh, people. I start pre-bribing 
a bunch of tourists because the next thing after the oil is going to be bribe. Uh, I forgot. I think it's five tourists or ten tourists. And once uh, that thousand oil gets produced, um, you can already have the tourists heading towards the palace across the bay. So I do a few extra in case they get there really quick. Um, but as you can see, now we're uh, finally bringing in the oil. Um, the people, the tourists I bribed are heading over there. We're just going to build an electric substation because some of the items I want to build here in a bit are uh, going to require electric power. I'm going to add some more hotel rooms so that uh, the more people you have, the, the more facilities can get used. And there's the bribe five tourists. The tourists are already on the way, so we should quickly get through the five. You can actually start bribing them the second you're starting to produce oil, as long as you know you're going to have the workers there. So we'll go ahead and build up the infrastructure of the tourist island a little bit more by doing the snorkel bay. We bribed the five tourists. Now it is time to build a cruise ship. Within, uh, um, there's a beauty rating, but I know that if I'm just off the edge of the island... Um, the beauty rating is good there. Um, now I just need to have 100 rich tourists, which is um, why I want to keep um, trying to do rich tourist accommodations and rich tourist facilities for them to use. Now we got the 100. Now we're into the final phase of this scenario. The final phase is to have a total of 250000 in tourist revenue and or a combination of plastic. So if you wanted to go the oil route, you could have a bunch of plastic plants and be producing and exporting plastic. Uh, that doesn't bring in a lot of money, in my honest opinion. You want to focus on being a tourist island. So that's why I'm building all these accommodations and uh, infrastructure for the tourists. So I'm just um, watching the money go up as the tourists uh, use the island. built a, f a fire station. I'm not sure why. I should have probably did that right away. I think it was a, a faction demand, so I just did it. Uh, I'm building a second golf course so that I can um, have a different work mode of club membership. And it was a faction demand uh, for the fire station. And now I'm building a landing ports for... Um, on the other end of the island and for uh, the little island so that I can kind of branch out a little bit and put hotels or other tourist items and it would only be a short uh, journey from either the landing or tourist pier to the landing on the little island. Um, I built the nightclub plus additional hotels. I'm trying to get as many people on the island because if they're on the island in a hotel room, that's automatically bringing in money. And then uh, anything in the, um, the, the, the fun areas brings in even more money. Um, I'm just going to build some places for workers. Uh, I've actually toyed back and forth if this is really necessary or not. Uh, but I did do it here in the video. So, now we're just watching here. We're almost to the 250,000. What I'm doing here is I'm adding workers to these uh, tourist spots. Because um, if there's not a worker assigned to it, then that's a reduction in the capacity of tourists that can visit that accommodation and or uh, fun facility. Or entertainment facility so I just want to make sure there's workers there um, but I am getting really close to the 250,000 here uh, 
I'm just making sure everyone still has employment there. And we're really close here. And we win. So we have a total in plastics. Uh, actually, it looks like it's tourism and exports of oil and plastic. Um, but really, you want to turn that into plastic because that's worth more. But anyway, you want to focus on tourism, which is how we got to the 250000 and won this game. If um, That's really all for this um, scenario. If you do like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have a question or have an alternative strategy to something you saw in this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. And please consider subscribing to my channel to be notified of future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.